Good afternoon everyone, welcome to the channel. Today I want to talk about external cluster validation. External cluster validation determines the similarity measures between two clustering results by comparing the predictions with uh, some reference or ground truths. So in this video I want to show an example using Iris dataset and I will calculate RAND index and adjusted RAND index uh, and both of them are external cluster validation techniques. So let's get started. At first import the required libraries. Okay. Import pandas as PD. Import Sibon, import matplotlib. From Escalon, import data sets. From Escalon dot Okay, let's go learn. So these are our required libraries. Now let's load this data set. Okay, data sets dot load. Iris data and stop data targets Iris dot target. Okay, let's check the shape of the data. So there are hundred and fifty samples and four features. Let's check the features name. So we have sepal length, sepal width, petal length, petal width. These are all four features. Okay, let's check the target names. So there are three classes: Setosa, Farsi color, and Farcinica. Let's create a data frame. df pd dot data frame data columns is so i is feature names let's add the target names as well so these are our classes checks the first few samples okay so these are our four features and this is our number of classes okay so we have 50 setos are 50 uh, Farsi color and 50 Harjinika. So, equal number of uh, samples for all the classes. Okay.
separate features from the data frame. Okay. Let's call it features. So we are going to drop the uh, last column. It contains the classes. Okay, let's check the first view. So now only have the features. This one dropped. Okay. Now perform pre-processing. Scalar. Scaled. We transform. We are going to pass the features and scale them. Now let's create a scaled data frame. Scaled data frame. DF scaled. Scaled columns features dot columns features dot head so we can see the difference we have scaled these features now they look like this okay check the shape So 150 samples, four features. Now let's perform k-means clustering. Considering three clusters. Seven. So k-means. In clusters three random state zero and unit auto k means dot fit or scaled data frame okay and spread survey k means dot labels okay add to new columns to the scaled data frame okay df Ground truth this con this contains our current ground truth. Okay, and add another new one prediction. Preds. So we have added uh, two new columns. Previously we had only four columns. Now we have uh, six columns. You can also confirm by checking the shape. So six columns. Print the uh, number of levels as a unique levels. So df 
scale dot ground truth ionic ground truth and this is prediction okay so we both have uh, three unique type of levels in ground truth and prediction okay now nine clustering comparison ground truth and predictions so we're gonna create a confusion matrix let's provide the targets and threads plt dot rc parents font size Function true is dot x level prediction ground throat confusion matrix okay so so zero is setosa one is uh, one is harsi color and two is virginica so uh, among 50 setosas uh, 50 actual setosas all of them have been uh, correctly uh, classified correctly predicted by k means as setosa among 50 parsi colors 39 have been predicted correctly and 11 predicted wrongly so they are predicted as uh, virginica and among 50 virginica 33 have been predicted correctly and 17 have been predicted wrongly as parsi color by k means clustering now let's calculate rand index in scale run this is known as rand score okay print f string rand score dot brand score will pass the targets and threads and up to five decimal points okay so this is our rand score our rand index A drawback of brand index is that each the achieves a 
Thì phần hỏi án Có predictions From the From truth So the drawback of land index is that it achieves a high score even when the predictions uh, differ significantly from the ground rules. So you can see that 11 wrong predictions in case of Parsi color, 17 wrong predictions in case of Parginica, and is still showing 81% uh, similarity. Okay, but this problem is uh, solved by an adjusted RAND index. Let's calculate that. Adjusted RAND index. And this is known as adjusted RAND score in Escalon. Okay, let's copy this one and just change the name. Adjusted Adjusted. So you can see the difference. Adjusted rendered score is 0.59 while Rand score is 0.8 on. So adjusted Rand index takes care of the problem that comes with. Rand index, the random result gets a score of zero in ARI, means adjusted Rand index. So adjusted Rand index takes care of the problem that comes with Rand index. The random result gets a score of zero in ARI. Okay. Normally, higher scores are desired for both Rand index and adjusted Rand index. So, this is how uh, you can perform external cluster validation using Rand index and adjusted Rand index. And in this uh, video, I have showed an example using uh, Irish dataset. Okay, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching.